Hi all, so I'm going to talk about how you can enhance the use of photos in your posts if you choose to do so when you revise. And as a model, I'll use this post that I've started playing around with um, about our, our semester and our project. Um, you can see we've got the content here in terms of the language. We've got a photo here. We've got a very wordy caption. Um, I'm using section titles. Here's another photo and a caption. And what I'll do now is go into edit, right, and show you how those can be presented in different ways. We'll look at two different possibilities. One will be a light box, and one will be a slideshow. And first, we'll look at the what we could call a light box, which is an effect where if you click on the photo, it will then pop up in full screen. All right, so I'm going to start by looking at how my photo is presently included right in here in, in this post, right? So I want to make sure that it's, let me get large, um, maybe even full size. I'll just go full size um, to make sure that it is actually in the post at full size. I will now update. I'm doing this so that it would look good on a large screen viewed at full size. But of course, in my post, I can bring it back down to a smaller size. And you know, I could stop there. This would enable people to you know, open the photo if they wanted to and see it quite large, right? Um, but let's, let's do something else. So I'm going to now um, go ahead and take my caption. I'm, I'm going to cut it and save it. I won't get rid of it. And I'm going to delete this photo now. So I have my photos now in my gallery, right, um, in my media. You can, create a, you can create your own gallery by going to New Gallery and Add Images. So here now we're in this thing called Aesop, Aesop Gallery Image. And Aesop is what will create the slideshow or create the light box. So you will have in your media library just the, your own photos. I have access to everything because um, I've got the administrative privilege. You as an author should just have access to your own photos. Uh, but I'll go ahead and maybe grab another photo or two um, from my... Let's see, I think I, I labeled them earlier, so I should be able to find them pretty easily. Let's see. Hi, Bao. Okay, there we are. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and add both of these to my gallery. And there you see now they're in my gallery. Okay. Um, because I labeled my photos earlier, too, I should be able to, I think, find the Chentang campus. There we go. Right. This is a good reason if, as you develop content, you might always want to label and tag things. It makes it easier to find later. So now I've got these three images in my gallery. OK, what do I want to call this? I'll, I'll call it um, I'll call it just my Walking Shanghai Spring 23. You know, you know call it that. Right? I, you know, and I'm focused on the Tiantan area, so I'm going to call it Tiantan. All right, now you'll see that down here, we've got many options um, for displaying these photos. I can display them in a grid. I can display them in a hero slideshow. And this, this is the actual slideshow, right? So let me, let me do that first. I'm going to create a slideshow. So now I will publish this as a hero slideshow. It won't appear yet as such, right? If we go back to our site, you won't see it. It's not published anywhere that we can see it, but it's available now for you if you go and you edit to insert into your own.
post, right? So I still have this. I'm just going to now. I, let's just say I want to uh, insert a, a slideshow. Right, so again, we're using this add component button. This is part of the ASOP interactive feature we have. And if I want to add a gallery now, I can add this gallery. I can decide how I want it to, uh, you know, animate. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and leave reveal effect off. Um, I'm going to also leave that off. And I'm, I'm just going to insert as a gallery. Right now, you see gallery here. I can go back in and edit. Uh, let's see what happens now if we post or update rather. All right, so I've, I'm updating my post and let, let's take a look. I'll open it in a new tab. Okay, so there's my first photo. Okay, now what I'll see here is a slideshow, which is taking a moment to load. That's one of the problems with maybe large photo sizes is they can take some time to load, but it will get there and uh, it should be faster in the future after that first, first load. While that's doing that, I'm going to also play with, oh, I'm having some connectivity issues with my VPN. I think that's what's going on here. Um, I'm also going to think about another possibility for displaying a photo. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to add component again. Now I'm just going to add a single image. And again, um, I can go into my, I can upload something, but I can go into my media library. And I, I've tagged mine, so I have to go find them, which is nice, right? Uh, if, if you haven't tagged them, you can't find them that way, but you can if you do it this way. And here I'm going to um, add that caption here and hit select. Just doing an image. Um, I'm going to go down here again and Think about how I want my image to appear now. Um, I'll put myself in here. I'll put my caption down here. Oops, I've lost my caption. Hold on, I'll have to go back and get that. Get the full caption. And it's always a good idea to keep some of this stuff perhaps in another document in case you need to cut, cut and paste. Anyway, so I'm adding my caption back into the Aesop, um, Aesop, right, interactive image function, right? I'll, I'll go ahead now. I'm going to um, align left, and I'm going to think about the size. Um, I don't want it to be too big to start with. So the width of the image, the, the column width of our blog is around uh, 600, I believe. So anything over um, 500 means there's not much space for anything else. I'm going to try that. Let's see. Um, left, light box is on. And that's all I'm, I'm going to do. Caption position left. OK. I, I would only really think uh, about working with select media for this. Um, you can change the, the size as you see how it looks. You know, come, come back and change it later. Image credit, alignment, light box on, caption. My caption, I'm going to make that left too. And now I'll insert my component. Okay, so it's here, and I'll update. Let's go check out our slideshow if it's now working. Okay, the slideshow is working. Right, and so here I've got this big slideshow. Um, okay, now it's working, right? So, you know, I can play with this. As you can see now, this is a slideshow that's you know, presenting these um, images in a way that can change. 
like this, right? Now you can see that this is really big and maybe it's too big, so I might go back and edit a little bit. Um, I've, now that I've added this other photo as a light box, let's see what happens. Okay, so now this is a light box. I can scroll over it to enlarge, and you can see the caption down here is in this pre-formatted font with this credit down here. And if I go light box, right, full screen, it becomes quite big. I can see it, and I've got the caption down here, right? Okay, so these are a couple of different options. One is the light box. And the other is the slideshow. And actually now, let's go back into slideshow. Um, it's not showing up the way I want it to. Um, I need to go back into the gallery. This is where it's confusing. So I go back into my gallery. This is where you can control how it appears, right? And so my gallery is what I need to change. This gallery here, right? So we see it's an ASAP gallery. This is where you can change things. Okay, so how do you want it to appear? Um, I can make it smaller, right? Um, I can alter it, right? So I think I'll go with the recommended 500 here. Um, I will. I can add a caption if I wish to. You know, this is for the whole gallery. Then, I bow to NYU, right? Shanghai Jintan. Um, I'm going to stick with fade, and I'm going to make this, this is the thing I want, actually. Enable full screen and enable navigation controls. And I think I, that's a little slow, um, five seconds, three seconds. I'm going to make it a little faster so that people see it change. Okay, I'm just going to change all that. Now, this should change my slideshow once I go back and then refresh my page. So let, let's see how, how this works now. So right, I have both here, the nice full size, very clear um, high bow full screen presentation. And then down here, okay. Right, so now I've got a, a slightly less large, right? And I can, I, I can control it. I can go back and forth, and I can make it full screen, right, if I want to. Um, I might think about how I want these images to display. You can see that this is very close up, and there are different possibilities for how they might display. But I've got something going that I, I kind of like, right? And then you you know you'll note too that the captions down here stay with it and help tell a different kind of story, right? Um, and yeah, this is this is it, right? So what I encourage you to do if you revise is think about these two things as possibilities, and what would work best for what kind of content you have. What if you have a lot of photos, I have a slideshow, right? I want to do something like that. Um, if you have just a few photos, but you'd like them to appear in a way that a visitor can interact with and, and see more clearly and say, okay, this is nice. It's not too big, so it doesn't get in the way of the story, but it might encourage a reader to say, oh, I'd like to see that more closely, right? And it will just fill the screen in a really nice way with the caption telling part of the story. All right, that's that. Um, if you have trouble, don't worry. You know, you're not being graded on how well you use this particular function in WordPress that is part of all NYU um, WordPress sites. But... Um, it gives you some options for thinking about how to how to upgrade and revise and improve your sites, uh, your post and its story. All right, let me see this. So I think 